Welcome to Car Show Television. I'm Andrew McCleary. We're here for Caffeine and Cars in Boynton Beach, Florida. It's a beautiful day, and a little bit later, we're going to cruise on up to Palm Beach International Raceway for some drag racing. So we've got a great show coming at you, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Steve and this is my son Connor. We're from Lake Worth, Florida. This is our 71 Chevy Nova. The car's got a 12 bolt in it, five speed. Um, it's an original uh, small block super sport car. We bought it about three years ago and redid it. And uh, we take it out as much as we can. Do you remember what transmission's in there? No. Five speed, it's got a Tremec five speed in it. We got a little small block in it. We were thinking about tur putting a turbo in it. Um, it has Foose wheels on it, they're a size 18. We have the lights on the hood, you can see with the skull on it. Yep, we got LED lights. Uh-huh. Right? Yes. We got custom GTO seats in it with the houndstooth inserts. And we like to drive it, right? Uh-huh. Uh, I've always liked these cars. I've built probably eight or ten of them since I was a kid. And uh, this one here is kind of the first one we've done pro touring style. We put the boom box in the seat to, um, so we don't have, because it doesn't take up all that space, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We converted it from a four speed to a five speed. We upgraded the rear end with a uh, true track locker and four ten gears. Um, we lowered the car, we put the wheels and tires on it, we painted it, we did all the interior. Uh, the car was black on black when we bought it. Um, a lot of hours in it, right? <laughs> That's pretty much it. I've always loved these cars since I was a kid and passing along to him. When I get older, I want to drive this car. <laughs> guys, this is Alex. I'm here with John Zelenga, my buddy here from American Speedwear. John is the organizer here of uh, Cars and Coffee Palm Beach. John, tell us about this event. Well, Cars and Coffee Palm Beach has been going on now for, this is the fourth month. Uh, we've been steadily growing every month with a bunch of different diversity of cars from Rossian, Lamborghini, to the Ford Mustang and the old classics and hot rods, rat rods, you name it, it's here. Uh, this week, uh, we've actually had, I believe we topped just over 200 cars. Uh, and it just keeps steadily growing. Uh, every every month, people, uh, they spread the word and they tell their friends, they tell their friends and so on and so forth. And it just keeps growing bigger and better every, every month. Hi, my name is Barry Vaxer. I'm from Delray Beach, Florida. This is my 1955 Chevy. I've had it about four years now. I found it in, uh, on eBay and I bought it in Jacksonville, Florida, and I was told it had a rebuilt motor, and it was in a little rough shape, but it seemed like a great buy. By the time I got home from Jacksonville to Delray, I had two quarts of oil left in the motor. So, let that be a lesson to you, boys and girls. Don't take somebody's word for it. When you buy a car, check to make sure, just because it has new spark plugs, that the motor is okay. In any case, I managed to drive it for four years, I used to use Prolong as my regular oil instead of normal oil and ran on straight Prolong. That went for just about to last June when the motor finally gave out. And I just had the motor rebuilt by Titan up in Ocala. I took the motor and tranny out myself and I put it back in myself and I thought it would be a three week adventure but it wound up turning out to be more like six months. But here it is, it's a work in progress, and it's, uh, it's getting there little by little, and now it's the fun part. Now that the build is over, I get to enjoy it. And it's a lot of fun owning, and I get a lot of compliments.
guys, I'm here with Ian Grunis, and uh, Ian is with Rossion Motor Cars, which is a local uh, supercar manufacturer. Ian, tell us all about uh, Rossion and what's happening now. Well, Rossion was uh, started back in 2003, actually, when we imported the uh, Noble into the USA. And uh, I'm sure most people have heard of the Noble M12 and the M400. And what we did was we took that car because we loved it so much and basically redeveloped it and formed what you see today, which is the Rossion Q1. Um, what's happening in the future? Oh my gosh, there's, there's so much to say. I mean, we now build the cars in carbon fiber. Uh, we build the cars in the US. And uh, the drivetrain packages that are coming out are just uh, the most advanced and state-of-the-art packages coming out of Ford and Ford Racing. And believe it or not, Chevrolet as well. So we're, uh, we're not biased in any way as long as it's American. And uh, that's what more can I say? Well, you know, uh, one of the things that we've uh, really discovered about the Rossion is uh, fans of yours is that this is all about power to weight ratio. Um, the power is extraordinary, but what the real key is keeping these cars light, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, everything that we do and every little bit of development, the one mission is light and that's about it. You want to be light, you want to be fast, and it is, you're exactly right, it's power to weight. And uh, even with the little four cylinder that we've created, everything about it is lightweight to, to basically extract the maximum performance out of the car. So for example, uh, we have the little four cylinder um, EcoBoost motor, which has a measly 325 horsepower, but um, the car only weighs 1,800 pounds, so you, when, you, when you calculate the, the, the power to weight ratio, it's ridiculous. It's in the supercar um, uh, arena, so yeah, I mean, we're all about lightweight, and hence the reason why we're going carbon fiber. So all our bodies now are uh, carbon fiber with a, a Kevlar lining, just to keep things strong. Um, so whatever you see in this car basically is everything that a, a driver will need to get the job done. There are no frills, but the most important thing is what you have is 450 horsepower behind you. And it's zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. It's all you need to get your hair standing on end. Yeah, and, and, and built and, and manufactured and sold right here in Florida, right? Built, manufactured and sold here in Florida. We're appointing dealers. So we have a dealer in the Midwest. Uh, we have a dealer in North Carolina now. And in Texas, we have uh, very, very interested parties and soon to be a dealer down there too. And uh, we're hoping to basically appoint dealers around the country, seven to eight dealers. How frustrating is it for the guys that are making $325,000 cars to get their butts whooped by a car that's less than a third of that? That's something you're going to have to ask them. I mean, I don't know. I just We just get in the car and we get busy doing what we do. And, uh, you know, we have fun whooping on them. And uh, But at the same time, they, they make beautiful cars. and. Uh, um, there's our competitors, or should I say our compatriots, are, uh, they all produce fantastic cars, so. Um. They do, I'm just having a little fun, Ian. Uh, it's great here having Ian and Rossion Motor Cars, a great story that's Florida, homegrown, coming at you right here at Car Show Television. I'm Adam, I'm from uh, Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, this is my dad's uh, 76 Trans Am LE. Uh, he passed away about a year ago, so it was handed down to me, and I'm just keeping it restored and taking it to all the car shows. It's just an uh, amazing car. He never let me drive it. <laughs> it was his baby, and I got to drive it maybe once or twice, and that was it. And uh, we'd go to car shows around here all the time with it, and you know, just great memories. Yeah, it's from uh, Michigan, and there's only it's only one of 319 ever made in this 455 four-speed, so it's a really rare car. Yeah, it's a 455 four-speed, uh, 7.2. It's uh, got a comp cam, headers, uh, Flowmasters exhaust, board over, Edelbrock intake, uh, Ram Air four heads. It's got everything done to it. The previous owner would take it to the drag strip, and it blew away like uh, Corvettes and stuff. So it's a it's a fast car for sure. Uh, we used to watch uh, Smoking the Bandit all the time. It's just one of the coolest movies out there. We'd watch it all the time, and we had, he had actually had a couple friends that had uh, the actual Smoking the Bandit car. So, you know, it was really cool being able to have this, you know, part of my life. I'm keeping it forever.
No amount of money could ever uh, have me to sell it. I'd just keep it forever. My name is John Metrick. I'm the president of the National Electric Drag Race Association. We're here from uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, we brought our Mazda Miata. It's a 2002 MX-5. Uh, it's all electric. We uh, do about 800 horsepower. It's a purpose-built drag racing car. It's powered by lithium-ion batteries. And um, it's very, very quick. We use zero to 60 in about one and a half seconds on the drag strip. Uh, in street tires, about zero to 60 in uh, about two and a half seconds. Oh, it's like a punch in the stomach. You uh, you go zero to 60 like, boom, one and a half seconds you're there. And uh, if you stop there, you're, you're kind of shaking because you, you've just took a huge hit to the blood pressure. But uh, it's really exhilarating. Very uh, torquey. First gear is uh, incredible. I usually drive around in second gear because uh, uh, it's just too much for the, uh, for the road. We've got uh, dual uh, net gain warp nines, and each one make about 700 foot-pounds of torque at 2,000 amps each, 4,000 amps total. And uh, we run uh, Hellwig brushes for 199 volts, and you put that all together, it's worth about 1,000 horsepower, battery horsepower peak. And to the ground, we can put about seven or 800 horsepower down. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> I was up in Canada, stationed way up in Alberta in the oil fields, and. Uh, I saw this guy race an electric uh, snowmobile, and he was so far ahead of the rest of the crowd in the drag races that uh, I had to investigate and see what it was all about. He was running electrics, and I did some calculations. I said, you know, that would make a really good drag racing car. I found these guys in the National Electric Drag Race Association. Mike Wilmon was the president at the time. He was running a Ford Pinto and lifting the wheels off the ground. And uh, I said, well, I'm, I was going to build a kick car out of my Fiero, maybe a Lamborghini, and I decided to change it into a... Uh, a drag racing car. So first car was DC Plasma. Uh, this is my second car, it's called Salt and Battery. After getting Java up and a little caffeine running through the bloodstream, it was time to head out to Palm Beach International Raceway, where streetcardrags.com was holding an event. Streetcardrags.com was allowing drivers to put their cars up against exotics like the McLaren and the Lamborghini, as well as a lot of other really cool cars. Hey guys, that's what's great about Florida. We got car shows in the morning, and we got street drags happening right now at PBIR. It doesn't get any better than this, so let's check out the races.
great parts about doing car show television is that we never really know what we're going to run into when we go out to do stories. As it turned out this weekend, something really cool was happening out here at Palm Beach International Raceway. The National Electric Drag Racing Association had joined up with streetcar drags to bring a lot of their electric cars out here and race them on the track. One of the really cool things is that there was a grudge match going on between John Metric, the National Electric Drag Racing Association president, and Lowell Simmons, the vice president, who actually lives down here in Florida. Lowell Simmons is an automotive teacher down here at Miramar High School. Not, not only does he teach the kids the traditional skills, but these kids actually get to work on an electric drag car. So let's check out as these two racers go head to head for a very unique electric car race. cars are slow, you need to think again. This new technology is really tearing up the track. Here we see an electric Tesla Model S sedan going up against a Corvette. Yeah, we have a C7 Corvette against Brooks driving the Tesla S. And the Tesla Model S wins. Car Show Television had a great day today here at Palm Beach International Raceway, and we want to thank streetcardrags.com for putting on this great event. Hey, and remember, if you want to race, don't do it on the street. Take it to the track. <laughs>